Alright, welcome to the second part of the video. Uh, this is going to take a while to get through a lot of it, so we're going to do several videos so it can be hosted on YouTube. This is one of a pair of French Ormolude uh, side tables. They're really pretty sharp. Uh, lots of cloisonne. There's several pieces of nice, massive pieces of cloisonne in the cell. Uh, an Asian lantern. The chairs, there are eight of these chairs. They're from Pier 1. They're modern wicker, uh, rattan. Um, we have a pair of probably 1930s to 1950s Indian art. These are original tempera paintings. Let's see. Over here we have a couple of mid-century modern lamps. There's the tall one on the wood base and this really kind of interesting uh, brass one. Standing back, we have a kind of a Regency-styled, highly carved chair. And next we're going to go into the kitchen. Let's see. In the kitchen area, we've got... This is a really fine crystal. I haven't been able to research the pattern, but it's really exquisite. Um, lots of chargers. Uh, China, a uh, couple of vintage lunch boxes. This is brand new silver still on the wrapper, or brand new uh, stainless still on the wrapper, brand new China still in the boxes. Uh, this is another one of the Colkard Mansion columns. There's six of these bar stools that are express oak finish and a matching uh, buffet that's also an espresso. There's more cloisonne. Lots of decorator accessories, crystal, a uh, pair of wall sconces. There are lots of collector's plates. Like I said, more silver plate. And here in the kitchen, probably the highlight of the kitchen is there's brand new Pampered Chef stoneware that's never been used. Uh, some higher end cookware. We have a Royal Dalton mug and we have a Keurig for those of you who like to make your own coffee. Let's see, these are McCoy, it's a McCoy canister set in the strawberry pattern. Lots of stainless and here in the utility room just some random electronics. And we have a vacuum cleaner and the garage. So here in the garage, we've got sewing machines, lots of just miscellaneous kids toys. This is a uh, black water tank. If you have an RV, you know that you have to have one of these if you're going to port uh, black water off of one, but this is a Blackwater RV cart and ice chests. There are cat litter boxes. Um, over here we have lots of lots of Christmas. Some of it's vintage. We have a Schwinn bicycle and. Some just random tools with edgers, a scroll saw, a battery jump box, and more miscellaneous garage wear. And this is Thomas the Train Trap. There's two full boxes full of miscellaneous Thomas the Train. It's got bridges, it's got just about everything that you can imagine. There aren't any cars, but if you know someone who has cars, this would make a nice little uh, gift for them. Over here we have a power washer, electric pole saw, some garden tools, and a ladder, and a mop bucket. 
these are the other uh, snack set boxes that are made by Colony. And like I said, it's kind of the uh, olive color King's Crown pattern. Uh, we have Snow Village revolving turntable. They're going to see a lot more Snow Village stuff when we get upstairs. And we have an antique doll and a display cabinet. So we're going to head upstairs and give you the tour up there. see we have a very large tapestry this tapestry is probably six foot tall it's a newer machine tapestry probably from about 20 years ago um, we have another tapestry there are two tapestries they aren't sure if they're going to sell both but there could be two but there's at least going to be one for sale this is also approximately six foot tall and This is their game room. We are not selling the entertainment stand, but we are going to be selling the big screen TV. We have kind of a modern oil painting, some other miscellaneous paintings. We have video game chairs. And these are some jeweled uh, pillowcases. Over here, we are selling, they have a pair of these nightstands, or end tables that are the modern cantilever design. The sofa is kind of hard to see. It is, it's leather, it's a metallic copper color. It's really, I've never seen a leather like it. It's metallic copper color. They bought it from Mathis Brothers. It was purchased approximately three years ago. They spent 2500 on the sofa and the two matching ottomans. These two ottomans actually spin. You can spin them and put them up next to it, and it actually makes a bed the size of a queen size bed when they're actually all laid out together. It's kind of a neat little solution. Or you can pull the ottomans away, and it's just a sofa with two big, huge ottomans. Uh, these are what they call wedding baskets. These are Asian, or Chinese wedding baskets. We have a rice screen and a workout bench. This painting was done by a local artist who's fairly well known in the local community. In here we have a lot of luggage. We have Hartman, we have French luggage, uh, we have this set that matches, lots of Ralph Lauren polo luggage and Ethan Allen fabric samples. Right here, more Hartman luggage. And this is a chest bought three months ago from Mathis Brothers. You can still buy this at Mathis Brothers. Um, this was purchased when they bought it. It was $840. Let's see. In here, this was their storeroom. Storeroom. There's lots of shelves. They apparently love collectibles. I mean, they didn't, they weren't picky as far as they would collected a little bit of everything. They have Italian art glass, Balik, Noritake, there's uh, Francoma, head vases, trophies, uh, Linux China. This is Hacienda China that is made by uh, Fiesta or Homer Laughlin, I should say. Uh, they have a jadeite uh, drinking coffee cup, silver plate trays, uh, they have antique silver plate, antique quadruple plate, there are leather books, uh, specialty books, uh, gold standard china, there are Christopher Radko ornaments, let's see, Hummel lamp, Solid brass propeller off of a off, off of a classic boat from the 50s. Uh, this is a spelter bust of Shakespeare, and these all of the bookcases we're going to be selling. And 
like I said, lots more books. Lots more books on, uh, they have Christie's and Sotheby's auction catalogs at the bottom. Lots of books on mythology, uh, astrology, that type of stuff. There are several of model car or collector cars in the boxes. Let's see, over here, there's Snow Village, still in the boxes. We've got more cars, and more books, more bookcases. This bookcase is primarily all gonna be books just on uh, antiques and collectibles. So if you need any type of guidebooks, there's a guidebook on everything pretty much in this shelf. The shelf itself is a uh, lawyer step bookcase. It doesn't have the doors. It just has just the shelves. But they are, there's four shelves and these are the extra tall sections. Usually you don't see four tall sections together. Usually you get the little short ones. So this is actually pretty handy. And over here, we've got lots of collectible, just clear glassware. We've got Bing and Crosby plates. We have Waterford Lismore. We also have the Waterford wedding goblets. More Department 56. We have kind of the rare McDonald's stuff that you don't find. And that is pretty much it that's left in the house. It's a really gonna a fun cell that's gonna make you dig. I mean, you're gonna have to, it's gonna take for I would say hours to go through and see everything that's here. There's just so much and there's so much variety. So we certainly want to see you at the sale this week. Uh, just keep in mind that because of the, of the tight quarters in the house, we might have to limit how many people we can let in at one time so that we don't get overwhelmed with you know, the staircase and stuff. But we certainly hope to see you this weekend. And thanks for looking.